Hi guys! Today we're making this Dunkin' Donuts inspired miniature. Start by getting out your craft blades and favorite sculpting tools. Then take a ball of dough colored clay and roll it into a fat snake. Then cut equal slices so you end up with equal sized donuts. Roll each slice into a ball before flattening it slightly on your work surface. To get the middle hole, I poked a dotting tool through and then gently rolled the donut on it. After that I evened out the edges and then used my dotting tools to make it a little bumpy to make it a little more realistic. To make a little texture, I use a toothbrush all over the surface. For shading, I use these four different tones of chalk pastel and simply brush them on going from light to dark. Donuts usually have a light ring around the edge where they cook the least, so I'm going to make this by simply scraping away a little bit of the color. Now to the icing. Mix some liquid clay with solid clay to create an icing like look. Gently spread it on top of the donuts. To add a bit of swirl for some detail, I'm using a white icing mix on top of the brown. To make small portions of many different colors of icing, I prefer to just mix colored pastels into my white icing. To make some simple sprinkles, just roll out snakes of clay, bake them for a bit and then cut them. Once you're happy with all your donuts, bake them in the oven according to package instructions and let cool completely. Then glaze the exposed part of the donut with a matte glaze to seal in the pastel. Now onto the box. I sketched out this box design on some sketching paper. For coloring the box, I'm going to use this old set of watercolors I had lying around. I've been using a lot of different materials lately when doing boxes and miniatures and stuff like this because I want you guys to see how you can use different materials. So I've both used acrylic paint, colored markers, colored pencils and now watercolors. So you can see how to use whatever you have.
For this one, I'm also going to use a bit of white acrylic paint to highlight an area. I also use a fine lined marker. If you want to use my template to print out for your own box, I'm making it available through my Patreon like I've done with a lot of the other templates I've made lately, so if you're into that sort of stuff, I'll leave a link in the info box. When your box is dry, seal it with a layer of Mod Podge before cutting it out. Now make the folds of the box, being sure to crease them well. Finally, use your glue stick to stick it together. Now all that's left to do is to put your donuts in the box. And we're done! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!